Hello Pisces, it is time for your mid-July to August reading of this current year. Yay! This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Don't go in on me. Don't attempt to drag me. Because I will do it better than you and then no one will like me. I promise. I'm setting up boundaries just in case. Usually you guys are pretty good. It's just always Aries that try to like say some shit. Which is like, okay, Aries. I mean, I love Aries. I do. But it's like, okay, Aries. <laughs> Today we're going to learn the value of no. <laughs> uh, I should not talk shit about Aries. But, you know, they're a cardinal, so what can I do? Alrighty. So, we got you working yourself. Making that paper, working hard. After you've been left out in the code. You feel like you're begging from somebody to give you something. And it's just like a wasted opportunity right here. You might grieve over a little bit. Now look at here, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Some real power behind it, right? As well as a love offer with the Nine of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. So Pisces, that could be you offering some love and trying to make some celebrations happen. Vibration for you guys with this reading is Three of Swords Reverse, Pile Driver to the Heart. Shot to the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, I'll stop. Um, it's like it's like the third party wasn't enough. It's like someone came back for a second round just to fuck with you. You know? Like a harshness with that heartbreak. Like they, like, paralyze you and then, like, they take your lover and start making out with them on your limp, paralyzed body, that kind of thing. Not even caring. Like, that's kind of harsh. Like, fucking on the grave of your corpse. Like, to celebrate that you're gone or some shit. Like, what a dick move, man. Yeah, I feel like you totally gave up on whatever this scenario was, and now you're just going out having a good time. Like, fuck this. So it's Eight of Pentacles. You've been working pretty hard, Pisces. Getting that effort in. You're ready to uh, go on some new kind of adventure. You might be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it's like, if you do impulsively go on an adventure, it's probably not going to go very well. And then you're probably going to be sitting there settled in your feelings about it. Might even use it as a method to prop yourself up a little bit to be a little bit more um, intuitive on a scenario that can happen again. It's like when you were young and naive, you went on a journey and it just uh, fucked you up and then all of a sudden, boom, you were queen. Like, huh. So all that had to happen for me to go through all this shit. Okay, that's groovy. Um, the Five of Pentacles, someone was feeling like they were left out in the cold after someone played some fuck fuck games with them. Left them unhappy. And, ooh. This person who was playing the fuck fuck games, yeah, they took all the swords, but they didn't notice the other two. So it's like a trail came back to them, and it just kind of screwed them. This person might even came back to apologize for what they did. You know, after the separation, of course. Not while, because, you know, most people don't admit that they make mistakes till well after. A lot of times, you know? It's just like, they'll wait years and years until they think that you're calmed down enough to talk to. And then be like, hey, how you doing? And, and then, like, they all want to act surprised, but it's just like, you know, I can't believe they're not over that yet. And it's just like, why would I be over that? Pretty, tr I, I feel like it was pretty traumatic. And, it, and, like, people surprise me. It's like, people think things happen so fast. And it's like, no, it's not how it works. Not everything is fast. Oh, I forgot to write Aquarius's title. I don't know why I'm preaching so much today. Mm. Okay, trying to escape to the window. That's Aquarius. <laughs> In case anybody's curious. 
Anyway, yeah, it's like, mm. Alright, so let's see. Six of the Pentacles. I feel like Pisces, whoever you were dealing with, wasn't giving you enough. And you knew it. But that might have been the wrong perspective. Or they had the wrong perspective. And it was just like, you know, they just decided to be smug and be like, I don't need to talk to you ever again. Bitch, fuck off. You know? And then they just went to work doing whatever it was that they were doing. Or that's you. It's just like since they didn't want to communicate with you, you just went to work. And there you go. It's like you worked on yourself to build yourself up. So that's not a bad thing. This person's lack of communication with you actually helped you develop yourself a little bit better. Because you were working in the past to get to this Queen of Pentacles. Not Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Cups right here where you're steady. You're set up. You're a queen. You get to hold this cup and you get to look over all the events to realize that you got to where you were today. Because fucked up shit happened and you handled that shit like a champ. I like this. Look at you go. Look at you go, Pisces. I like this for you. It's like you're finally leveling up, man. I feel like you need it after all the bullshit you went through with another person. Because it, 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 like for a year consistently, it was like someone kept trying to get under your skin or fuck with you. Four of Cups right here. Feeling like an opportunity was missed. Kind of, you know, sad about it. But there was some good karma with that. Probably some good legal wins or something. Or you could be dealing with a Libra who was based on some shady foundation, not exactly a, the best kind, but there you are, Pisces, looking through the secrets and what is beyond to figure out what is going on, or whatever. Or you use your right discernment to figure out what was keeping you insecure and decipher what secrets went on behind there. It might not even have been uh, known to you why you reacted the way you did until you started looking back, like with the Fina Cups right here. So, this Ace of Pentacles, it's like a dragon, a beast, and it's like, do you really want to take this offer? Because that is a lot of power. Not saying it will harm you, but it's a lot of power. Lots of responsibility. Yeah, this is just kind of like, ah. Too much power. Too much power. Someone hit fifth gear too quick. And probably blew the, tr the clutch. I'm just saying. Like, too much power. Too much. Um, home was in disarray. Everything went wonky. Two people fell out of union, I feel like, with that. And, yeah. Someone's still sulking over that. Still looking over it. Being like, was there a different way everything could have went down? Or... So now, Pisces, here's you, or Scorpio, or Cancer, moving forward to offer their cup as a knight, traveling cautiously, carefully, to make sure that their cup is delivered full. Um, walk it away in order to deliver this cup somewhere else, you know? Walking away from things that do make you happy in order to start something new, to take that leap of faith to become this queen of cups, right? Um... Because you don't want to be with someone who makes you bitter, demanding, feeling like you're not getting enough. Like you feel like you can't, um... Like Queen of Pentacles like, could be over a mother, unfaithful spouse, so you might be trying to leave an unfaithful spouse. Or it's just like, you know, because both queens are alone, you were like this for a while, where you were not the healthiest, non-toxic person. To, like you were probably really toxic to be around. Where there was a toxic earth sign around you. But it's like without taking this leap of faith from them helped you get to where you needed to be. Either she was you from back in the day and you're looking over that like, huh, I really grew as a person. Or this is the person you're taking a leap of faith from. And that's what's helping you out the most. Now we got the three of cups right here. Someone wants to have fun and party, but something doesn't seem to be moving forward towards the direction you're thinking. Might feel like you're not sure exactly how to go about things, but it's leaning more towards looking at what's going on on the inside with your emotions and feelings to look at the secrets you do keep that you probably aren't aware of. And this might just help you avoid a tower. Our tower is being avoided because, like, you know. Well, yeah, it's like you're having a good time, so you don't have any reason to move towards this direction. Like, that's not, that's not even an issue. 
it isn't even considered a close option for you because you're worried about what's going on on the inside with yourself and you are trying to reveal the, the issues of this tower. So I can see where that's going from. But yeah, there you go, Pisces. That's your reading! And this bad boy will tell you some shit that's happening between mid-July to August of this current year. Thank you for watching my video. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. You know, you do whatever you want. Your choice. My treat. Um, I won't be doing personal until after the 10th, but as soon as I am finished with whatever the hell it was I was doing, I will announce when I'm taking them again. Okay? Okay. Alright. Love you guys. I'll see you all later. Be safe. Bye-bye.